Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is my last video of 2023, I think. Okay, I lied. My last video is going to be next Saturday on the 30th. So basically the end of the year. So welcome! Welcome! Come on in! Take a seat! If you are new here, I'm so happy to have you as we are wrapping up the end of the year and wrapping up the very best awards. I love to do that because I know my editor will add in like a sound when I do that. Who knows what it'll be this time. <laughs> I'm really excited to be rounding out our awards this year. I feel like we really pushed forward on what the Berry Best Awards are going to look like in the next couple years. We really cemented the idea of the Berry Best Awards being something very coveted and it's been a wild ride. Again, if you're new here, we've done skincare, body care, and makeup. And the Berry Best Awards is an award system that I created three years ago where I pick one product in each beauty category to win the very best of the year. And it's something that I have absolutely loved doing. It's something that I literally bought stamps for to make my stamps of approval. Look at this, you guys. I made these little stickers to put on and my editor actually made this little um, design and I absolutely loved it. And I just thought it was hilarious and perfect, like how people get Allure Best of Beauty and they put it on the box. Well, maybe eventually they'll put the Very Best Award sticker on their box because these are highly coveted. And as I mentioned today, we are covering our last awards category, which is hair care. I am really excited about this one. I spent a lot of time really trying to think of the things that I used this year and what has made a difference in my hair. So let's hop into it. I do want to sort of give a preface about my hair in particular because obviously not everyone's hair is the same and so products that work for me might not work for you etc hair is a very 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 personal thing to everyone so let's talk a little bit about my hair journey and if you are new here as i've said about 100 times i would love it if you would join us and subscribe in the new year we're gonna do empties i already have a big pile of the worst makeup of 2023 sitting in a corner ready to be plucked at with a glass of wine so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in i would love to have you subscribe. I want to talk a little bit about my hair and the journey that I've had with my hair over the last year so that you can decide right here and now if this video is for you. So I have fine thick hair if that makes sense. I have fine hair. The actual strand itself is fine, but I have a lot of it. So when you feel my hair thickness, it feels generally thick, but it's less about the strand being thick and more about the fact that I have a lot of hair growing out of my head, which affects the quality and the kind of products that I like to use on my hair type. I have stick straight hair naturally. When I get out of the shower and brush it and dry it, it is 100% straight with a bit of frizz. I have very oily scalp and dry ends on my hair and my hair is color treated so I get my entire head dyed every eight weeks and typically that's just a root touch up and then a gloss on the rest of my hair but hair dye and color touches my hair every eight weeks which makes my scalp incredibly dry I can see a little bit of dandruff coming in from that but also makes my hair oily because my hair is now shorter I have a hard time with styling just I'm trying to figure it out still it's been an entire year so I tend to have oilier roots drier ends to my hair because of the color maintenance. And if you would look at the Berry Best Awards last year, you would see that I literally cut my hair before the very last one last year. My hair was very long, like down to my little itty bitties. And I chopped it all the way up to here, probably even shorter than it is right now. And over the past year, I have gone back and forth about my short hair. I chopped it up to my ears. I am starting to let it grow again. Then I chop it again. Then I get bangs. I've been very inconsistent about it. And because I was not used to my short hair, it took me a while to get used to it and decide how to start styling it. So I've only recently come into my own with wearing my hair down. So you're gonna see a lot of accessories and things in here that have to do with wearing your hair up because a large portion of this year, my hair was up. I do have some really fun products in here for shorter hairstyles. If that is you and you got a bob or a lob, I really like the length that it's at right now and I am gonna continue growing it. I don't think I'll ever have it quite as long as it once was, but I think having it a little bit lower than the shoulder, the collarbone could be cute again so we'll see I'm sure I'll cut it again in the future but this is where we're at right now so I wanted to let you know before we dive in however there are lots of goodies across the board here that I think will work for everyone so let's dive in honestly at this point I feel like I've lost track of what the categories are because things change over time so we're just gonna go through as if again I was in the shower just like we did in our body care routine and how I would start my hair journey to all the way to the end with our styling style products so starting with a little bit of 
scalp detoxifying and scalp health. This is something I did not include last year and it was something that I've been introduced to by a brand that has taken over a large portion of the winners here. I'm gonna be honest, we might as well give it up for DP Hue and Crown Affair because they are a large majority of the products in this video. So the two products that I have been using for my scalp over the past year are both from DP Hue's ACV line, which stands for apple cider vinegar. These are incredible. So let's Let's start with the top here. This is the exfoliating scalp detox serum. It is a pre-wash that you put in your scalp. You let it sit for 10 minutes in your scalp before you get into the shower. And it's a very lightweight serum. It's really easy to apply because of this tip. You literally just put it into your scalp and you massage it into your hair. This stuff is absolutely amazing at helping to detoxify the scalp if you've worn a lot of gel in your hair, if you have a lot of product buildup, if your scalp is itchy, if you feel like you have dandruff, this is a great way to to gently exfoliate the scalp while also being color safe, which is really important to me. It's supposed to help balance the pH in your scalp, remove excess oil and product buildup for great scalp health. And I would absolutely agree with that. It has never irritated my skin or my scalp. And I use this about once a week. If I'm washing my hair twice a week or three times a week, I'm typically putting this in once a week, especially on those days where things have really, really built up. So I have been so impressed by this entire line, which is why I wanted to mention my more daily option for people who feel like they have a little bit of irritation on the scalp and they want some soothing, but they also want that um, detoxification on the scalp, ACV's Daily Scalp Serum. And this stuff is amazing. Essentially, you massage it into your scalp the same way that you would that product, but this is a very lightweight. It has the viscosity of water, so it does not weigh down the roots of your hair whatsoever, which is super important to me because if I'm putting something in my scalp, I am preparing for it to take over my hair and that I can't wear my hair down, but that is not the case with this. Again, it's color safe. It just makes your scalp feel refreshed and really good. So if you are someone who deals with dandruff or you need a little bit of a refresh between washes for your scalp, this is such a great option. And again, can be used daily. These two together, I just really, really love them. I worked with them on this line and I have continued to repurchase them after that because it has done wonders for my scalp and just makes my scalp feel really healthy. So as we get into the shower, I wanted to talk about about obviously my maintenance shampoo conditioner, but while we're on the apple cider vinegar sort of like scalp detoxifying line, I wanted to also talk about their ACV apple stem, stem cells and hyaluronic acid revitalizing shampoo. So this product comes with a shampoo and a conditioner and I have loved using both, but I find that the shampoo is just a little bit more special to me. And this is what I use in terms of my like detox shampoo instead of using like a really thick, not as color safe sort of detox shampoo that really strips the hair. I use this instead when I'm feeling like my hair is feeling really heavy. Again, this has hyaluronic acid. It has apple stem cells. It's ACV. It helps hydrate, reduce shedding and support healthy hair growth. You can use this every day, but because it has apple cider vinegar in it, I tend to use this again only when I'm feeling like there's a buildup in my hair, especially if I've worn my hair slicked back for a certain number of days, I will go in with this just to help not strip it but get it super clean before I build up some of the moisture back into my hair. Okay so we have really covered the scalp here in that we want it to be clean but we don't want to strip it. When I'm not using those things I am using my classic maintenance shampoo and conditioner which literally does absolute wonders for my hair. Every time I use it I have repurchased so many of these that I couldn't tell you how many there are and these are the ritual shampoo and conditioner from Crown Affair. This is I think a three-time Berry Best Award winner on Honestly, I think it's won every single category that I've ever put it in. This is the best shampoo and conditioner that I've ever tried. Crown Affair is such a thoughtful brand and there are a lot of favorites from them in this product line. I actually got to meet the founder, Diana, and she was so thoughtful the way she talked about her hair health and the way that she creates her products. Every person with straight and or fine thin hair that I have put on Crown Affair has become addicted to it. It is absolutely wonderful. It really makes your hair feel actually clean without stripping it of its natural moisture. It just feels like you got a deep treatment done or something. And again, with these being just your maintenance, it's just such a joy to use them every single time. 
it, Crown Affair has a very specific distinct scent as well that they create their products with so it just makes me happy every time you use it it is pricey I'm not gonna lie to you it's one of the pricier brands at Sephora in terms of hair care however for the health of my hair and the way it makes me feel I continue to repurchase it and I wanted to mention a accessory an accessory while we are here because I want to talk about things again as I'm going through the line of products but when I am using any shampoo if I do feel like again my scalp is irritated it's feeling dry or I just feel like I used a lot of product and I need to break it up I will use a silicone scalp scrubber in the shower while I'm doing my shampoo step these are really soft um, bristles here so they don't hurt your scalp it feels quite nice you can leave it in the shower and because it's silicone it will never get nasty doesn't get moldy and it just feels really good on the scalp and can also help promote hair growth if that's something that you're interested in or the journey that you're on highly recommend it also cuts down on the amount of shampoo that you need to use because you're able to really lock it into your scalp without overusing shampoo and just washing it down the drain so highly recommend having one of these and they are incredibly inexpensive I got mine on Amazon and of course everything will be linked down below so if I'm using one of those two shampoos and I still feel like my hair is quite dry especially if I have used a lot of hairspray or dry shampoo texturizing spray things like that I want to go in with a deep treatment and of course that deep treatment is once again a two or three time very best award winner this is the renewal mask from crown affair this is the actual first product from crown affair that I ever tried and I again have repurchased it a million times this is a beautiful thick but not too thick deep con conditioning treatment for the hair. I like to use this maybe once a week, like if I'm using my scalp detox or if I'm using a more like clarifying style shampoo, I might use a deep conditioner on my hair to help with just maintaining moisture. This one is just beautiful. It is a step up from the regular conditioner. Their maintenance conditioner is a bit thicker. This is a little bit less viscous to where it's going to really penetrate your hair. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy whatsoever. So if that's an issue that you deal with because you have finer thinner hair this is the one for you the only thing I don't like about it is that it is in a tub and I wish that it was in a squeezy bottle because it's thin enough to be in a squeezy bottle or even like a squirter of some some sort <laughs> But um, beyond that, I freaking love this. And even though I don't like the component itself, I keep buying it because the product inside is that good. This says formulated with subaki seed oil, yuzu fruit extract, which strengthens even the most damaged hair. So you gotta try it, especially if you're someone who color treats your hair and you're feeling the dryness. Which speaking of color treating, let's get into that a little bit and talk about the things that I use to help protect my color, add to my color, and cover up my rooty root roots. So last year, I think the winner for my like hair glaze was maybe Madison Reed. This year, a new product has come out. Once again, it's from DP Hue. That has changed the game for me when it comes to at-home hair glossing. It might have been even Kristen S that won last year. So if you don't know what a hair gloss is, essentially, it's something that you um, use to help add vibrancy to your hair color. It's not a hair dye, and it adds shine, and it kind of revives the color depending on what shade you pick. So I always go for a copper shade because red is one of the shades that starts to fade the quickest in hair. And typically, with a hair gloss, you have to put it on dry hair with the gloves, let it sit, wash it out in the shower. It can be kind of a mess until DP Hue released the Glossy Glaze this year. And this is by far the best hair gloss I've ever tried. I just love it so much. First of all, it's really hard. It sounds like it would be easy to find the right hair color of copper hair, like copper hair style products. But a lot of the times copper hair or like red hair color products end up being that like cherry red. The hair color that Dua Lipa has right now. That's not the hair color I go for. I go for a straight copper natural ginger looking hair and this shade in copper is literally perfect so basically instead of using this before the shower this is a in shower treatment which when i found that out i was like hallelujah this is the best thing ever so basically what you do is after you shampoo you kind of towel dry your hair a little bit or wring it out and this product just allows you to turn the top and squirt it into your hair it's like listen to how thin it is it's like a water and it absorbs directly into your hair without getting all over your shower all over everywhere it's not super thick you don't have to wear gloves and you leave it in your hair for I think like five minutes this says two to three minutes and um, then you rinse as normal and not only does it help revive your hair color this gives you insane shine and insane softness to your hair I think I use this maybe like once every five washes if not more than that it says that it lasts up to three washes I think it depends on your hair type and how your 
hair holds on to color. But this is the best at home little gloss treatment that I've ever tried. I'm so impressed with DP Hue this year. They have become one of my favorite hair care brands for colored hair and I'm just addicted to them. If you can find a color that you like, I highly recommend it. But they also make this in a clear if you just want to add a little bit of shine to your hair and give it like a nice gloss, you got to try that. And the other product that I use for my hair color is my root touch up. And as I've gone more and more into the color, the coloring of my hair, the less I really care about root touch up because when I first got it dyed, I was also doing my eyebrows to match my hair. So if you go to last year's Berry Best Awards for hair care, you'll see that my eyebrows are also auburn shade, but I decided to fully embrace them as the black shade that they are this year. And I think it gives a really cool sort of just like feature to my face. So I don't care so much about my roots showing, which they are right now as I used to. But when I am like really grown out and I'm feeling like, okay, this has gone too far. I will use, which this is a two time very best award winner. This is the color. Wow. Root touch up kit. This is a great, great product. It comes with a brush that's two sided. One side's a little bit thicker, one th side's a little bit thinner. I tend to go for this side. And it's basically like a really packed, very pigmented eyeshadow that has a little bit of a like satin finish to it. And I just straight up pat that onto the root with it being taut down like this. Rather than swiping it on, I like to just, just pat it and blend because that really gives you the color directly onto the scalp. Now, I don't know if you can see a difference, but to me, I definitely can. And it just is really helpful if you are going to an event or a wedding or to work and you feel like my roots are out of control. This is a great way to just touch them up. It makes a huge difference in my opinion for minimal work. And I prefer to do root cover up powders over um, the sprays because the sprays get everywhere. The sprays get everywhere and they're hard to do and they get all over your scalp and no. Try a powder, especially if you have oily scalp. You'll love it. I feel like that already made a huge difference and I literally barely did anything. So highly recommend them, especially if you're someone whose roots grow in darker or lighter, it will work for either of you. My roots grow in darker than my hair and this still works. Okay, so let's get into a little bit of what I use on my damp hair to keep it protected before we get into heat styling, before we get into all of that fun stuff. This is a step in my hair care routine that I used to overlook when I was younger. I never really cared about heat protection. I never really cared about like bond care or anything like that. And as I got older and I noticed my hair getting drier, it's something that is one of the most important things in my hair care routine by far. And um, I use a certain number of things to keep up the, you know, the health of my hair. And this year I have three products that I really used in rotation or in conjunction. And um, two of them are Berry Best Award two time winners. And these are the Olaplex number nine and number six. I use these almost every single time. This one for sure. We'll start with number, number nine. I use the number nine every single time that I wash my hair. So this is the number nine bond protector nourishing hair serum. If you're like me, you are probably overwhelmed with Olaplex and the number of products that they have and what are they all supposed to do? How are they different? Like why do I need them all? That can be very confusing. So I'm just going to tell you the two that I think are most important depending on your hair type. But for me, the number nine is by far my favorite Olaplex product. So this is a hair serum. This is incredibly thin, it's clear, it's lightweight, and this has a heat protectant up to 425 degrees along with an antioxidant serum to help hydrate the hair. So it, it's meant to protect your hair and give you pollution protection, which I don't live in a big city, but if you do live in a big city, it is something that happens to your hair over time. You pick up on pollution from out, just being outside, and this is supposed to help protect that. I use it mostly as a heat protectant and the reason that I love it so much is because it is a lightweight serum. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It's not an oil base and it just makes your hair feel really lightweight. So I love it for that reason. I use it again every single time that I take a shower but sometimes I like to mix in a bond smoothing repair treatment to add a little bit of oomph to it especially if I've had somewhat of a drier month on my hair and this one is the number six. This is the leave-in styling treatment. It adds moisture, strengthens, and reduces frizz for up 
to 72 hours. So if I'm feeling like I need that heat protection, I'm gonna go here. But if I'm feeling like my hair is looking frizzy or it's looking just like dry and overworked, I will mix these two together. So this one is not a heat protectant, number six, but this one is. You can easily mix them together if you like. I do it all the time. Again, it's meant to speed up the drying time with your hair dryer, define your hair, and again, help smooth it with the bond technology that Olaplex uses. So I highly recommend buying one or both of these if you've not tried Olaplex. This would be the place to start. But also recently, I have been doing a duo with my number nine that has literally changed the way my hair comes out. It's, this is third day hair for me. I would never be able to wear my hair down three days in a row. So I'm shocked by this. And it is the mixture of the number nine from Olaplex and the K18 molecular hair oil. So this is my hair oil that's winning for this video. I believe last year it was Olaplex and the year before that it was Kerastos. I absolutely love both of those. I will say the Kerastos for me is always gonna be a favorite, but I do find it to be a little bit heavy. And the more I weigh my, wear my hair down, the more I want a lighter weight feel to my hair. And this duo is everything. So basically what I did was on my wet strands, I put in the number nine all the way through my hair and then I brushed it through and then I added the K18 molecular repair oil on my damp hair as well. So I didn't mix them together. I did one and then two. This is also a heat protectant up to 425 degrees, which really helps. It also has bond repair technology just like Olaplex. So it's giving you that really strength to, that your hair needs. And you only need like one to three drops of this product for it to work for you. And it's incredibly thin really lightweight and thin. It's not going to weigh your hair down. It doesn't feel oily or greasy on the hair. And this combination gave me the most beautiful, soft, supple hair I've had all year. I'm not kidding. I highly recommend you try that duo, especially if you have straight, fine hair like I do, and tell me if it works for you. All right, let's get into some styling products now that we have talked about all of those things. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about tools as well at the end of the video, but I wanted to get through like more of my product focused items and then we'll talk about tools as we get to the end. So I have my dry shampoo, my little texture spray, and my hair gel for the year. So the winner for dry shampoo this year, it's gonna come, come out of left field for some of you because most of the year I use the advanced day dry shampoo from Living Proof, but I picked this up from Batiste this year and I cannot stop using it. And before you come at me and say Batiste has chemicals or whatever, I know, okay, I know. I'm living my life and it's fine. I'm fine with having it in my hair because I'm obsessed with this product. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Overnight Deep Cleanse. And this is to prevent oil buildup while you sleep, wake up to clean looking, fresh hair. This product is the pits. I mean the tits, not the pits. The tits. This product is amazing. I use this not only as an overnight build up product, but also just as my general dry shampoo because it makes your hair feel clean every single time you use it. It's so nice. It does work as an overnight dry shampoo, but this is part of the reason that I've been able to get to three days with my hair down because I've used this product along with the K18 in my ends. So I'll use the dry shampoo in my roots, let it sit. I'll put this in my ends, let it sit for a little bit, or I'll take a shower and then when I'm out of the shower or after I've washed my face, I'll brush it through and everything is perfectly clean, healthy, glowy, shiny. Like it's so nice. So I only use a little bit of it if I'm using it during the day, but at night I will load up my scalp and it works so well. I'm a dry shampoo girly. What can I say? And how many times has Batiste won for me? It's hard to say because truly there's nothing better. I know. I know. I use a lot of other dry shampoos that I like, but something about Batiste really does it for me. I feel like over the past couple years for my, my my hairspray category. I've kind of picked whichever one I use the most, but like, to be honest with you, I'm not a hairspray girl. I was very hashtag blessed in the fact that when I put my hair into a style, it typically stays in that style without a lot of help. I don't really know why. It just is. Some people's hair lasts really long in a style and others doesn't. Um, so I don't feel the need to use a lot of hairspray. What I've used instead this year, and this is going as my hairspray category winner, is a dry volume and texture spray. And this is the winner for the year. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume volume and texture spray, instant lasting volume and texture. This is amazing. I don't know how many times I can really say that in this video. I told myself that I was gonna like try and use other adjectives, but it's hard when this is literally me picking all of my favorite things. Obviously I'm gonna say the best adjectives I know, but this is amazing. 
amazing. So it has volumizing and texture molecule, which provides you with weightless volume and texture that actually lasts. So it's meant for a thin hair, fine hair, flat hair to add volume into it. So when I'm using a round brush or a styling product like that, which we'll get into maybe a thermal brush and I get a really beautiful blowout and it's really bouncy. If I want to keep it instead of using hairspray, I will use a texture spray because it still gives you a little bit of the grit that a hairspray would without weighing your hair down and making it crunchy. It's still brushable, but it is a little bit of an easier step for me than going straight to hairspray. I just prefer to use a texture spray because it still gives you that feel. It still holds your style while also adding a bit of volume into the hair. So this is my pick this year for a texture spray slash a hairspray. If you're someone who has thinner, finer hair, I say try it out. Try a texture spray in lieu of hairspray and see if it makes a difference in how much volume you can keep in your hair instead of weighing it dune with hairspray. So before we get into what I would consider the category of the slick back hair, which is going to be its own thing, I wanted to talk about another root product that um, is actually not made for the hair, but was absolutely what I used it for this entire year. I have a lot of breakage at the very top of my scalp. You probably can't see it because I actually used this product today, but I tend to just have a lot of little flyaways that stick straight up. Not ones that go out, but just really little breakage along the crown of my hair. And the only thing I've ever found that has really helped me and is not an at-home concoction, I know a lot of people like to use a spoolie with hairspray on it, which is totally fine. It's not as like, you can't really take that with you on the go. Whereas this is the Live Tinted Hue Brow. And this is what I use to lay down all of my hair. So it's this two-sided um, eyebrow gel. And as I've gone through my eyebrow gel journey, this gel isn't exactly what I like anymore for my eyebrows. So I've been using it for this. And I basically take the brush and go along the top of my hairline like this. And it helps keep everything in its place without weighing down the top of my hair. So instead of putting a hairspray directly on my hair, it's a way for me to just pull my flyaways in without it being heavy or crunchy. And because it's clear, I can really get in there. And I just love it. It's just this little hack that I've been doing. And I noticed in um, a video recently that Hailey Bieber's, um, one of her hairstylists was using a spoolie to get her slick back hair back, like literally a spoolie like this. And I started doing that as well, but also using this. And I feel like it helps in two ways by also adding product into the hair to help keep it back. So just a little tip, if you are someone who also has breakage at the root, I really like this. And it's also good for this area around your ear. If you are doing a slick back and you don't want to put gel right there, it's a good way to just help pull that back and you can keep it in your purse if you start to get flyaways. So this is just an extra tip that I had for you that I felt like talking about because I used it a lot this year. All all right, let's get into the best hair gel of the year. This was a 2023 find for me from TikTok. I put so many people on this product and it is the best hair gel out there. I'm telling you, it is so good. And it's from the drugstore. This is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Styling Gel. And this is a extra strong hold, three out of five rating. I don't know what could be more than extra strong, but absolutely go off. This is a clear hair gel. I've gone through a couple of these already. This is my favorite gel if I am doing a slick bag hairstyle by far. I was thinking about putting in the Crown Affair finishing gel, but it's $54. And almost every time I recommend that to someone, they say, that's too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper option? And I always recommend this. So I thought I'm just gonna skip that step and give you the one that the people want and then people use the most, which is this one from Garnier. It says it's 24 hour hold. It's clean, whatever that means. 98% naturally derived, no silicones, no parabens, no dyes. Pure clean is our first naturally derived styling line with 24 hour clean hold and pure performance. It says it uses acacia gum um, for its holding properties. So it's it's better for your hair, I guess. I don't know. No slick back hairstyle is good for your hair, but we do what we do because beauty is fun and we like to play around and this stuff will work for you. The reason I wanted to recommend the Crown Affair one is because it's brushable. You can put it in your hair, you can brush it out and your hair is still clean. This is not the case with this one. You can still brush it out, but your hair is going to be noticeably drier and it's going to be obvious that you had gel in your hair. If you're doing a slick back style, you're not going to wear it down the next day anyways, let's be honest. So highly, highly recommend this. Absolutely love this. And I feel like it does such a good job of keeping everything in place. And um, I use it all the time. I use it weekly. I feel like that is all of the product that I wanted to mention in this video. So let's get into accessory. Oh, oh God. Did you see that? That was a ladybug. I'm so 
sick of these ladybugs in my house. If you're new here, I sucked a ladybug up my straw the other day. It was disgusting and I still think about it. Let's get into some accessories and uh, round it out with my hair tools of the year. So let's start with brushes. Um, I have two brushes that I wanted to mention this year that I found to be extraordinary and different for whatever reason. So while I was talking about the styling gel, what had really changed the game for me and my slick back hairstyles was using a boar bristle brush. I think last year for the boar bristle brush, the crown affair boar bristle brush one. And I do love that brush for slick back hairstyles, but this one is much cheaper and works better because it is thicker and the um, actual bristles themselves are shorter. So this is from Conair. Um, it, the entire thing came off because I use it so much. Like the logo came off. I got this on Amazon or at Walgreens in person. It has a nice rounded edge to it here. So it fits along your hair perfectly. And because the bristles are really short and finely packed. It helps pull all of your hair back and make it really, really sleek. So this is a must have brush. If you are doing slick back hairstyles, you need to have a boar bristle brush. End of story. But to get your hair back in the first place, I don't recommend using a boar bristle brush. This is not going to really get everything back. It's going to help smooth it out. But if you really want to get everything back, I recommend using a regular style brush. And for me this year, my winner kind of came out of left field. This is the main addicts brush. And this is made with like steel tips here. When I first saw this, I was like, I am not gonna like that. It seems like it's gonna hurt and I'm obsessed with this brush. So this brush has, again, like little steel tips here rather than them being like little plastic bits. And I like to use this for multiple reasons. One, this feels so good on your scalp. It feels like one of those like silver things that you put on your head and like helps massage it. It just feels amazing and also helps kind of exfoliate the scalp. So if I'm really going for an exfoliation, I might use my scalp serum and this brush and really brush it through to help get it um, disseminated into every area of my scalp. So one, it feels so good. Two, it's a paddle brush. So it's really got good surface level. And three, it helps detangle. It's just a beautiful brush, but it is a little bit odd. If you've never tried a brush with a, with like a silver metal tip, try out you know, this brush and see if you would like it. But it really came around for me this year also because of how much it helps to actually get your hair back into a ponytail along with the boar bristle brush. These two together and they're dirty, so sorry. They really, really do make the perfect slick back bun. I also don't have this with me, but I wanted to mention, LOL, the Olivia Garden hair brush cleaner, which I used to call the Olive Garden hair brush cleaner. It just helps get the hair out of your brush to make sure that it's clean and you're not like putting nasty old hair into your head while you're brushing it. So however you want to clean your hairbrushes, I will have the hairbrush cleaner that I use down below because it's important. Um, I can already see that these need a good wash. So those are my two hairbrush picks for the year. Um, and then let's get into a little bit of accessories. I want to mention how important again it is to use a microfiber cloth when you are drying your hair. This was a huge game changer for me as well. Growing up, my mom has really short hair. She has a pixie. So I had really long hair. I don't think like I, I had the best hair knowledge growing up. I don't think anyone in the early 2000s knew what they were doing hair wise. So now that I'm older, I've learned a lot more about hair health and using a turby twist, this is an actual turby twist, um, or a microfiber cloth is going to be the best bet to keep your hair from being damaged. So this one is really inexpensive. You can get any microfiber cloth on Amazon. Essentially, you put it on your head, you twist this around, you attach it, and um, microfiber really, really, really soaks up the most amount of water so that it's pulling the most water out of your hair without damaging it, without weighing it down. And it takes so much less time to dry because all of it is in your turby twist. So highly recommend doing something much lighter weight than using like a regular ass body towel, which is going to weigh your hair down, pull on your strands, stretch them out and possibly cause breakage. So this is a super important step for me when it comes to my hair health. Next up in terms of accessories, um, when I am drying my hair, I like to add a little bit of volume at the root. And this is a new tool that I found this year that literally does that for you. You essentially take this tool, you open it and you smush your two ends or like your two bang pieces together right there. I guess I'll just do it. Um, you take your two little bang pieces. For me, this is where I always lose volume and where I want to have volume is like right in the front. And you take your little clippy, which is made of the same thing that like, um, like Velcro pieces are made from and you just clamp it down the middle. And then I like to like let this, the piece go to where they may. And I will show you after we talk about the next product that I will have volume there even without doing anything. So if your hair is drying or you've just applied heat to it and you put this in, it will make a huge difference 
and the volume at your root. You can also do like a larger section of hair if you want to. You could do two clips like that if you wanted to have like a really sort of fair faucet look. But it's a simple little trick that actually does create quite a bit of volume because it's drying your hair straight up and keeping it in that locked position. So I love it. It's just a silly little hack that works very well, especially if like you're going out to work and you just dried your hair and you need a little volume, just put your clip in, get in the car. Once you get to work, you'll have the volume there. I'll show you. Here we go. See, it kind of just sticks straight up and gives you that, that sort of volume here to help with that. So obviously I have product in and I just put this down, but I highly, highly recommend it if you just want a quick little easy trick to help with the volume in your root. That was another TikTok hack that I found this year. So if I am not doing a slick back and my hair is back, it is in a crown affair hair tie. These are silk hair ties, which I think everyone knows at this point are incredibly good to use in your hair and they're much better than using a typical elastic. But these are special. I can't explain to you why these are special, but they are better than the slip ones. They're better than the ones you can get on Amazon. They are expensive, but the reason that I love them so much is that they have the proper stretch for my hairstyle. So like I wanna go around twice, maybe three, three times without it stretching and this gives you the perfect amount. So it's all about finding the right stretch when it comes to your hair ties to make sure your hair's not too tight or it's not falling out and these are perfect. If I am not wearing my hair in a slick back and I have it up, it is in these. It's also what I sleep in. I have a hundred of these around the house and they make great gifts as well so I wanted to mention that. But if I am doing a slick back hairstyle, you can guarantee that these three products are going to be used and they're going to be used every single time. So not every single time. So I wanted to mention the clips first because I may or may not use a clip when I'm doing a slick back style. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But if I am wearing a clip because my hair is shorter, again, it's one of the Crown Affair clips. These are handmade in France. It comes in two colors. They're both like a tortoise shell slash marbled color. And what makes these extra special is that they have two layers of clip claws here so that you are getting a really good squeeze on your hair and it is not going to fall out. They're absolutely beautiful. The fact that they're too layered is the cherry on top. And again, beautiful gifts to have. They look amazing in your hair. Both colors are gorgeous. They match everything. And they just feel incredibly well made because they are. They're literally handmade and they keep all of your hair in. So highly, highly recommend those if you are looking for a nicer option in terms of your claw clips. I did not realize that there was a difference in the type of small elastics on the market. Um, when I was at Coachella this past year, hashtag, I was with Rachel, my friend Rachel, whose handle is Hydration CEO, and she has short hair like me. And I had little, um, like, you know, plastic little hair ties and they kept breaking. So she gave me some of hers to use and I was like, whoa, these are incredible. Where did you get these? Like they are the best little ties I've ever tried and they are from Kitsch. These are the no snag elastics and I got this bag at Target and it comes with a hundred of them in three different sizes, which makes it even better because if you're doing a really small little hairstyle, you can use one of the smaller bands. This is the largest size, so you can see it's still quite a big size. I use this for my regular ponytails sometimes. And um, I've had this bag now for months and it has been amazing to use. I use it for when I'm doing little piggies. I use it if I'm doing a half up, half down, um, or if I'm doing a bun. So if you're in need of a really good elastic that's not going to break in your hair, which has happened to me before when I've had my hair done and then my elastic breaks, it's not fun. These will not do that to you and they come in different colors. So I got the darker color to match with my hairstyle. Absolutely love it. Another game changer for me in terms of accessories this year were these barrette clips. I found these on Amazon and I legit cannot do my hairstyles without them now. These are regular hair clips, but the back has a three pronged barrette. So it really makes your like kitchen, your under layer of hair when you're slicking it up a lot of the times mine falls down because my hair is short. This keeps everything up because it is really taking a full ass barrette into your hair and clipping it into place. You can only see the top clip because the bottom part is underneath so it looks like a regular hair clip and it matches my hair color so you can barely see it. These are the best. I found them on Amazon. They come in a huge pack. Again, everything will be linked down below, but these have made a huge difference in the upkeep of the bottom of my hair to make sure it's not falling out of my bun. Okay, we are wrapping it up with my two recommended heat tools for this video. I know it's been really long. I'm sorry, I just had a lot to talk about. I just had a coffee. 
So I obviously would always recommend Dyson hair products. I'm not gonna talk about Dyson in this video because that's just sort of a given. I use Dyson dryer, air wrap, I use the air straight, like I use everything that they make and that's always gonna be a given for these videos. But there are two heat tools that I've used this year that have been really interesting and fun for me to use and are from brands I've never really heard of before this year. Um, the first one is this giant waver from Main Addicts. So again, this is the same brand as as the brush here and this is Jen Atkins brand she is the founder of way and she made this like sort of hair tool and like just fun younger hair brand recently and what makes these really special is that they're all uh like you can break them down and travel with them so if I can do it my hands are really dry but basically you can break this in half maybe not break it that's probably not the best word there you go you can take this apart so that when you travel with it, it becomes a lot smaller and all of her products are like that. So she made a one pound hair dryer so you can travel with a hair dryer that has all of the attachments on it. She made um, like a tiny, tiny little hair straightener, which I really love to travel with. She just did a good job of making everything travel friendly, even though this is a giant waver. This is the biggest waver I've ever tried, but it makes actual waves in your hair rather than crimps. And I find this to be better than any of the ones on Amazon because of how big the barrel is. So so I had to recommend that because it's a way that I've been wearing my hair all year long. I absolutely love this and I think it's really unique. And secondarily, something that's gone viral recently, which I can't believe I hadn't tried until now, are these thermal round brushes. So basically this is a round brush like you would use in a blowout, but it has a curling wand in the center. So there's only one heat setting on this and I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how hot this gets. I got this on Amazon and um, it works very, very, very well. It is probably the best and my favorite heat tool that I've used all year. I will put in a tutorial so you can see what this looks like on, but it is the best way to give yourself an extra oomph to your blowout. If you are using the Dyson Air app or even if you don't have one and you wanted to add a lot of volume to your hair, to your root, to your, um, to your front pieces, your bangs, this is so cool and innovative and it works so well. It can be a little harsh on the hair, so I try to make sure I'm always using my heat protectants when I'm using it, but really unique find this year. Again, it was a TikTok find and I use it almost every day. I use it to get this little bend in the bottom of my hair here today um and i love it i think it's so cool and it makes my hair look so va va boom and there you have it that is my 2023 berry best awards all wrapped up in a bow i hope that this was helpful to you and i hope that you got some good information out of all of the awards this year i would love to hear what your favorite hair care products of the year are i think hair care is going to continue to evolve and we're going to continue seeing new trends and new styles when it comes to hair um and I have just been so impressed by the way things have been going so far. Definitely shout out to DP Hue, Olaplex, and Crown Affair. Those three brands this year absolutely killed it for me and I can't wait to see what else they come out with in 2024. Stick around for my actual last video of the year, which is going to be next Saturday and it's going to be the worst products of 2023. It's always a good time. We get a little tipsy, we talk a little crap. It's an absolute blast and a glass. So I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing, holiday season. Bye!